Hi there, my name is Anastasia and welcome to the Market Economy Channel, a proud part of the blogger team at tvbricks.com. Our goal is to offer insights and educational content on the fascinating world of economics. So before investing money, always do your due diligence or consult a professional who can help you. Let's dive in. Today we are diving into the world of BRICS and how you can already invest in these emerging markets through exchange traded funds or ETFs and how they can provide you with an affordable and efficient way to invest in the emerging economies of the whole BRICS countries. We'll also discuss the history and potential of these economies as well as the advantages and challenges of investing in that. So keep watching and let's explore the potential of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South South Africa together. The term BRICS refers to the nations of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. British economist Jim O'Neill coined the term BRIC in 2012 to describe these countries as economies poised for rapid growth that has recently surpassed the economic power of the G7 countries, nearly 30 years ahead of experts' predictions. South Africa officially joined the BRIC group of nations in December 2010, and the acronym changed from BRIC to BRICS to include South Africa in the name. In the early 2000s, the BRIC economies experienced significant growth, which captured the attention of investors worldwide. However, over the years, the BRICS hypothesis has faced some Position. Critics argue that the grouping overlooks the finite nature of crucial resources and that China's GDP growth and political clout far exceed those of other BRIC members. Despite these concerns, investing in BRIC ETFs remains an attractive option for many investors. For those who are not familiar with this term, an ETF or exchange traded fund is like a basket of different stocks or assets. It lets you invest in a group of companies with just one purchase. ETFs are traded on stock exchanges similar to regular stocks. They offer an easy and affordable way to diversify your investments. In other words, it's a smart tool to spread risk and invest in many businesses at once. Let us now take a closer look at BRIC ETFs. These funds focus on investment opportunities in Brazil, Russia, India and China, excluding South Africa for now by investing in stocks and other securities through local exchanges or American and global depository receipts. ETFs offer a unique combination of the flexibility of stocks and the diversification strengths of mutual funds. They trade on exchanges and usually track a specific index. By purchasing an ETF bundle, you can reduce risk and increase portfolio diversification, as these assets can be bought and sold during market hours. When in Investing in BRIC ETFs, it's important to be aware of various costs associated with them. These costs may include fees charged by your brokerage company for each trade, management fees charged by the ETFs sponsor, and trading costs such as bid, ask spreads, and changes in discounts and premiums uh, to an ETF's net asset value. Despite the potential costs, the benefits of diversification and exposure to these rapidly growing economies can make BRIC ETFs an attractive option for many investors. By understanding the differences between various ETFs and selecting the right one for your needs, you can take advantage of the growth potential in these dynamic economies. Let's now explore the history and potential of each BRICS nation, starting with Brazil. Brazil is the largest country in South America, both in terms of land area and population. The nation has abundant natural resources, a diversified economy, and a growing middle class. Key sectors include agriculture, mining, manufacturing, and services. Moving on to Russia, this vast nation spans two continents and boasts the world's largest natural gas reserves and the second largest coal reserves. Despite its rich resources, Russia's economy has faced challenges due to geopolitical tensions, economic sanctions, and heavy reliance on energy experts. Anyway, based on recent news, it appears that the Russian economy is adapting well to challenges by becoming more united and stronger. Its connections with other BRICS nations have played a vital role in dealing with the problems of the later period. India 
which this year became the most populous country in the world, surpassing China, is a nation with rapidly growing economy driven by a young and skilled workforce. The country has made significant progress in sectors such as information technology, pharmaceuticals and automotive. However, India still faces challenges such as inadequate infrastructure and widespread poverty. China has experienced unprecedented economic growth in recent decades. As the world's second largest economy, it has made tremendous strides in various sectors including manufacturing, technology and infrastructure. However, concerns about China's debt levels, environmental issues and government influence on businesses have caused some investors to approach the market with caution. Lastly, South Africa, the most developed economy on the African continent, has a well-established infrastructure and thriving tourism industry. The country is rich in natural resources with significant mining operation in gold, platinum and coal. Despite the strengths, uh, South Africa faces ongoing challenges such as high unemployment, income inequality and political instability. With this understanding of each BRICS nation, it becomes clear that investing in BRIC ETFs can provide exposure to a wider range of industries and sectors across these emerging markets. However, it's crucial to recognize the inherent risks and challenges associated with investing in these countries. Now that we have a more solid understanding of the BRICS economies and BRIC ETFs, let's discuss some investment strategies. When considering BRIC ETFs, it's essential to take into account factors such as expense ratios, liquidity, and the specific index that the ETF tracks. Additionally, investors should consider the allocation of assets among these countries, as these can differ between funds. Diversification is a key component of successful investing, and BRIC ETFs can play a role in a well-rounded portfolio. However, it's important to strike the right balance between developed and emerging markets as well as between various asset classes. This balance will vary depending on an investor's individual risk tolerance and financial goals. It is also worth uh, considering the role of environmental, social and governance factors with selecting BRICS ETFs. Some funds focus on companies with strong ESG performance, which may be an important consideration for investors concerned about sustainability and corporate responsibility. If you want to know more about ESG, you can can watch our previous video, link is up here. Brick CTFs offer investors an affordable and efficient way to gain exposure to the emerging economies of Brazil, Russia, India, China. While there are potential risks and challenges associated with investing in these markets, the potential for significant growth and diversification makes them an attractive option for many investors. As always, it's essential for all of us to conduct detailed research and consult a financial financial advisor, if any, before making investment decisions. If you want to learn more about the BRICS bank, we recommend to watch this video and if you want to stay up to date on BRICS currency developments, this is the video for you. Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you like this video, please support our work by subscribing to our channel and giving this video a thumbs up.